Hello and good afternoon, everyone. This is Colleen Morrell, your Director of Formation at the Basilica of St. Adalbert. It's about 1.30 in the afternoon on Monday, and I'm coming to all of you from my home office, which I'm sure many of you are starting to work from right now as well. I wanted to make this quick video first and foremost to reach out to all of you and let you know that myself, Father Ron, Father Rob, and all of our staff are here for you during everything going on in our community, in our world, and we are praying for all of you every day, especially with any fears, struggles in transition, and other needs that you might have during this time. So please know that and, um, and have hope in that. Secondly, I wanted to make this video to let you know that we are working to still provide ways to spiritually support and feed both you and your entire family during this time. I am planning on continuing to make some videos in the coming weeks for your children and also give them other videos and learning materials for their formation. I encourage you to have your children watch them and to talk with you about them. In no way do we want to make this just another thing to add onto your plate, but I fully believe that our Lord wants us to cling to him even more right now during this time of pandemic. Our, our prayers, our children's holiness, our own holiness is still to be the central part of our lives right now, even though it's going to need to start looking a little bit different without being able to attend public mass, um, which we've been doing for, for about two weeks now. And so for us, our relationship with God still has to be number one, because we can do nothing without him. We can't, we can't transition in the ways that we need to without him, and we were created to be in relationship with him. And so we're hoping that these materials and opportunities will still be able to let all of you be fed and be lifted up during this time. So anything that we send out to you or your children is to hopefully help you figure out how to live in relationship with Jesus Christ and his church in this time, as well as continue to learn and grow in holiness. So stay tuned for those videos and other materials. I'm hoping to send them out every Monday in the coming week, so, so look for that. I'm planning on sending them out via email, um, and hopefully they'll be life-giving for all of you. Just um, another quick note. In today's first reading at Mass, there is um, there's a passage from the prophet Isaiah from the Old Testament, and I was reflecting on it earlier today, and part of this passage reads, Thus says the Lord, I am about to create new heavens and new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. For I create Jerusalem to be a joy and its people to be a delight. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exalt in my people. I think the, the part of that passage that really stood out to me was, um, was when the prophet Isaiah spoke about how God, God makes a new creation. And your life, the life of your children, the life of our parish family, can still become and be a new creation every single day even in the midst of, of social distancing, of COVID-19, all of that. Every single day you wake up, every single day your children wake up, um, the Lord has new creation for us, even when everything else seems chaotic. Um, the world today within this pandemic, I think that we can sometimes think of it as something really, really overwhelming of, oh my gosh, what's happening? But when it comes down to it, the world today has always been chaotic because this isn't our home. Heaven is our home. And, and the Lord makes new creation for us, 
even in the midst of, of us still being in this world today, of still being in the, the chaos today. So I just encourage all of us to remember this, remember that every day is a new creation. Every moment when we step back from being stressed out, from being um, confused, and just take that deep breath and call upon the Lord, call upon his name, Jesus Christ, that a new creation begins to happen and that we should continue to seek out new life in Jesus every day for ourselves and for our families. And so for this to happen, I wanted to end this video with a little challenge for all of us. And that challenge is to give God 15 minutes of your undivided attention every day. Someone in a talk that I heard a while ago once said that there are about 96 blocks of 15 minutes in every day, and we can give God one of them. We can give God one ninety-sixth of our day to be completely dedicated to him every single day. St. Mother Teresa, who I'm sure you all have probably heard of, was a religious sister in Calcutta, India. She and her other religious sisters took care of the sick and the dying in the poor town that they lived in. They had clinics and other facilities that they ran, and when Mother Teresa's sisters began to be, be in struggle to keep up with all the sick and the, and the dying coming into their care every day, they, they asked Mother, they asked Mother Teresa what to do. And she did something a little strange that seemed a little strange at first. She added an hour of prayer to their day every single morning. And the sisters, rightly so, were a little confused by this at first because that's, an, that's another hour of not being in the clinic. That's another hour of not doing the thing that they were overwhelmed by. But once they increased this prayer time, they were actually able to keep up with the number of patients much better than they had before. Much better than they had even before they started being more and more overwhelmed by it. And from this story, we can see that God multiplies our time and resources when we surrender it over to him. God is outside of space and time. He is the Lord of time. He's the Lord of our lives. He's the Lord of our work, of our families, of our vocations. And we have to let him do the heavy lifting for us right now. So I encourage all of you to take 15 minutes of your day and dedicate it to God. If you're already doing this, that's awesome. Praise God. Try to give him five minutes more. If 15 minutes seems like a lot of time to still to be still and to to pray and to read from scripture, pray rosary, if that seems like a lot right now, start with five minutes. Set a timer on your phone, on your watch, and build up to it. Just give God some undivided attention every day and see what he does with it. See what he can do in the life of your family, in your life. And so also in this email, I have a few other tips for you to live your faith lives together as a family, especially on Sundays, so check that out. And once again, know of our prayers for all of you. Please reach out to me via email if you have any questions or specific prayer requests, and I look forward to sending out more materials for you in the time to come. God bless.